Hello everyone, Argzy here. Welcome back to No Creek Farms. So uh, we're straight here in the tractor, carrying on the tillage that we were doing last episode. We've got the uh, 8960 over there, still running up and down, doing every second row. They'll uh, get over to this side of the field and then turn around and head back. We're just going to uh, scoot around these headlands, get them done, and then we'll probably jump into this field next door and uh, get that knocked out as well. And that will be all of our cultivation done. So you can see there, all of those fields. Uh, fields 1 and 28 still growing. Not quite ready to harvest yet. So once we have all of this finished off, uh, I think I will go and, well, we'll see what the time is. It's, it's half past four now, so we might be in the end of the day by then. So uh, we'll jump into tomorrow. We've got some animal care to do. The uh, cows will probably be due some more food and uh, they definitely need some more straw and probably a bit of a clean out so we'll get that sorted we're actually getting quite a decent amount of milk so i might have a look at what the milk price is like and i also want to get that bat wing mower out come down and mow some of these uh fields around the edges and get tight spots like that piece in there and just a bit of a general tidy up on the fields which would be good so uh i'm just going to crack straight into getting these fields finished off and uh Moving on to the next thing. You and I were trouble in sight. Beating hearts don't lie. An empty page, a story to write. Alright, so we've made it the whole way around the headland three times in the field there. We can leave the 8960 to finish those up and down rows. Uh, we're just going to jump straight in here and get some GPS set up and get this field done as well. I'm not sure how long this will take. Hopefully not too long, but uh, it is a 
a little bit bigger. Not bigger, but it's uh, it's a bigger field than you think. When you start looking at the length it is. Not too many rows across, but uh, a few up and downs. Here we go, there's our GPS track set. I'll just double check the width we've got in there. Perfect, right. Keep going with the time lapse and uh, get this one done as well. Feet, raindrops falling on the street. I can't recall when I last saw the sun. Summer's just a memory, a faded piece of history. No one can remember all the fun. The late night barbecue, zipping on a genie juice. I never shy away from a good time Coming on Friday night I see my friends and feel alright There ain't no stopping us from having fun There ain't no cloud in sight The future is looking We're making pretty good progress across this field. Must be uh, about halfway, I'd say. Got the one pass there on the way back. And then we uh, really only have the two pieces either side of the pond to do. So that's uh, it's good progress. The 8960 over there is almost finished as well. They're on their last couple of passes and have a little bit up the front to do. Uh, so not too much longer and we will have all of this finished. And uh, probably be calling it quits for the night. The last couple of little bits to do here. The uh, headlands up at this top end of the field. I think we should be able to uh, go along, turn around, head back, and uh, that will be us done with the uh, cultivation. All the fields will be prepped or oh, ready to get planted again very soon. Uh, it's almost six o'clock, so uh, we might might have an early night tonight. No point starting off uh, anything new, we haven't started already, it is going to be too late to do anything else. We'll get back up to the yard, the uh, other tractors finished in the field next door as well, they are all folded up waiting to head back up as well. So uh, we will go over, pick them up and uh, get back to the yard. Again needs a little bit of maintenance, some of these uh, cultivators, a little bit of wear and tear on them, as would be expected. I think we've got this little bit here and then just a little bit along the edge of the grass and uh, that's it. Alright, and there we go. All finished. 
pop that up, fold it up, and uh, get back up to the yard. Doing what we do best here back at the yard, giving the tractors a good clean off. I'm a service, I'm a stored neatly away. It's uh, nice to do this as the last task for the day. I'm going to get rid of uh, paint worn on this cultivator. It's probably done a few hours now for us though. Alright, with everything nice and clean, we'll just uh, quickly give our equipment a bit of a service. Cost too much. Here we go. 39 days old. They've been here for a while now. We'll run this one and park it up and then come back and get the other one sorted out. And we'll get these two done as well. Tractor and the cultivator there. Again, not too much. Not too much expense in that. Right. I'm going to get this parked up. And then I think it might just about be dinner time. Got the tractors put away, the cultivators all tidied up. Thought I'd wander out here in the uh, cornfield. Let's check to see how it's growing. All looks to be uh, pretty good. Nice height. Like the uh, ears are developing pretty well there. So this can't be too far away from uh, being ready to harvest. So that would be good. Which uh, does make me realise we're going to need to get another uh, corn header. Because we've only got the one. If we want to run both combines in there. We will need to uh, look at adding another header to the equipment list. So, a few things still to buy. But anyhow, I am going to uh, pack it in for the evening. And we will uh, catch up with you again in the morning. Good morning. Not quite the morning I was expecting. It's uh, had some rain overnight. Still hanging around at the moment, so uh, that's going to change our plans for today. You'll see over the road there, the uh, aerial crop over there is ready for harvesting. And the maize, uh, the corners as well. But obviously it's going to be too wet to get out there into those. But before I came out I did just check the... Uh, milk price and it's hit quite a good high $5.28 a gallon so first things first I'm going to jump into the truck get a few loads of milk down to the uh, dairy cell point and then have a quick look in here find the animals need a bit of a clean out yep so we need to give them a bit of a clean out they need some more straw need some more food so get some milk sold and uh, then we'll get to making sure that the cows are all nice and happy and uh, keep on keeping on producing milk like I might have to move the uh, dump truck to get that out alright let's get some milk sold alright there we go, we've got that full up so let's uh, get it down to the sell point almost 21 gram for that first load of milk which is pretty good. I think we'll uh, head back and pick up another one, possibly another two. I don't think there's quite enough for full, two full loads, but it would go pretty close to having a second full load. So we'll get back and get that filled up, and uh, if we can bring in another thirty-five thousand dollars. That will uh, certainly help with a uh, those couple of purchases we talked about. Well, there we go, second load full. So, uh, rinse and repeat back down to the bell points. And uh, there was about 7,600 gallons there, so there must be just over 3,600. So, close enough to a full load that I think we will sell it while the uh, price is reasonable. There you go, same again, another 21 grand, which is uh, fantastic. So one more load to go. There you go, 92%. So uh, pretty close to a full load. And 19,000 for that. So all up, about 61 grand from all of that milk. Is uh, not a bad little effort for three trips in the truck. Now, before I race back, 
I'm going to stop in here to the shop. We uh, we're just looking, and we've found a uh, new straw shredder. So we had been using the feeding wagon for that. We're uh, we've got a new one. We're going to pick up. So I'll just sort that out now with the shop. All right, so we've got this uh, 2020 Haybuster bale processor. So uh, we need to be able to try this out on the farm. Get it back and get it hooked up. Uh, and see how it goes with getting some straw into the uh, cow's barn. Alright, so there it is. I'm just hoping this uh, hitch will hook up on the back of the truck. Only one way to find out, and that is to hop in and see what happens. There we go, hitch is a bit high, but uh, we've got it hooked up. So we'll get this back to the yard. We'll uh, get some feed in that all mixed up for the cows, and we'll get this going and see how it works with uh, throwing some straw out there for them. Alright, there we go. I think I'll just uh, get that dropped off of the air. Gonna get this put away, and then we will uh, come over and get the animals all sorted out. But we've still got some feed mix in the uh, mi in the mixing wagon, which is good. We need to bring a tractor over for that. Get some more food mixed up. Let's turn the valve on there and give them some water. Filling up in there, yep. And uh, we'll just jump in here quickly as well and give them sweep out the uh, barn my broom go I was a witch grab that when it swings past there we go, that sounds like it's all gone uh, throw the broom back over the fence like we always do and uh, we'll go and grab the 4840 bring that over alright so just got packed up here to the uh, feed mixer and I do recall now that when we we're putting the hay away, we put some bales in there ready for the next mix. So uh, I guess we're going to have to go over and grab some silage. It means we'll need to get the 4240 out and hooked up to the uh, auger for the extractor bag on the silage. I think we'll uh, run down here, go right round and come back up. We could always take this tractor off but then uh, we want to do more than one load, it will get a bit monotonous going uh, back and forth. So I think we will go and grab that other tractor. Alright, there we go. I thought I actually had to hook it up, but it appears it was still uh, set up the right way with the pipes all out, so that it just started unloading, which was nice. Just keep an eye on the uh, fill percentage. I can, I will put some uh, straw in here. That should be a good point if we just uh, pull out from under that. Good stop emptying. There we go. We'll just put a uh, few straw bales in just to top it off. Alright, there we go. The uh, us double check. The feed mix is full, so that took three bales, which is uh, not too bad. Bulks it out a little bit, means our uh, hay and straw go, uh, hay and silage goes a little bit further. We'll get in here into the barn and start offloading. There we go an angle so we can see that. Alright, that's one load done and uh, we're back in the green on the teamer. So I think we will go and get one more mixed up. That, uh, that mix worked quite well so if I go and put it about 45% bales in first and then drop three or four straw bales in and then we'll go top it up with silage. Alright, that's uh, four bales of straw and didn't actually count how many hay bales, but it was 40% full. 44% uh, full when we got there. So. Have a quick look, 68%. So I uh, will go and get this topped up now with silage. Alright, there we go. All up again. That uh, mix worked quite well. We could have actually put a bit more straw on it the way it worked out. Go and get this unloaded. We can go on this end from the... Uh, a tight, a a tight fit in here with the big trailer. Look how I made it out going the other way. Oh no, there we go, we've squeezed in. Gonna work out well because we uh, unloaded on the other side. Both sides filled up. This uh, wagon could hopefully fill up the TMR to 100% and uh, then we can go and get some straw unloaded. 
Try out the new hay buster. Here we go. Only five tons left, 15%. Not too much. Uh, figure out if I need to move the Moline to get that back done there. There we go, I got that backed in all okay without having to move the Moline. Now we need to figure out how this machine works. I haven't used one like this before. So I'm assuming we can put the uh, bars on the back down. Go, okay, that unfolds it. That can go down. I wonder if I can load a bale in there with the front loader, put another one on the back and then we can take two in. I'll try that out and how that works. Alright, there we go, that's that bale in there. See if we can put one on the uh, bale lifter on the back. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's go see how this works. We can get some straw out of it. Assuming if we just come in here, turn it on, here we go. Look at that, firing the straw out. Great little animation there with the steam as well. Dust in that coming off it, you see the belts going around. One limitation of uh, farm sim is it doesn't show the bale disappearing. Now we've done that, you mean we can flick that one up. Perfect. And load some more. See, we can adjust the angle there as well. I got it too high. <laughs> Out of the trigger. Alright, just getting the last of these bales loaded in. The very last straw bale we have, so fortunately the wheat is ready to go. We'll be able to get that up and harvested pretty soon. But um, I've been super impressed with how this uh, hay buster's worked. It takes a bit of effort when you've got a, a big herd of cows. That's how you're taking quite a bit of straw. So we're not um, a lot of back and forwards. But in terms of the actual uh, mod itself, it is uh, it's fantastic. Really impressed with it. So this particular mod was by Retro Mods. You uh, have a look on Facebook, you'll find them there, and uh, you'll be able to download this from them directly. So make sure you go and give them some support, like the uh, give them a like if you want to use something like this. So gonna get backed in here. Probably be in the way for when we get our straw, but uh, it's all right. We might even reconsider how we have this uh, this shed laid out. We're starting to get a little bit of equipment all the way down here and uh, spread around the different parts of the farm. So we'll just bring up the animal menu. So we, we must be pretty close to 50% of this straw done. So I may uh, I may bump the bale capacity up next time. That would uh, certainly help with not having to go back and forth quite so much with this. But that's everything done for the animals. And with this weather, there's really not a great deal more I could do. I do want to get the bat wing mower out, but uh, I'm mindful of mowing grass that's wet is not really the best for the blades. It's a good way to blunt them pretty quick and considering it hasn't been used yet, it is still brand new, I um, don't want to be too tough on them. Look at that, still got all the green paint on the uh, on the blades there. So I think in light of the weather I might wrap things up there. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed that episode, probably a little bit shorter than normal, but uh, we'll be back again soon once this weather's cleared. And uh, with plenty of work to do in the fields, lots of planting, lots of harvesting, and uh, keep on growing the farm. So thank you all very much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.